I'm now at the HID stand and with the gentleman, I don't even start pronouncing your first name because you told me off earlier. So perhaps you'd like to introduce yourself. Sure. Uh, my name is Harem Ratzak. I'm running one of the business units within HID Global, which is called the Physical Access Control Solutions part of the business. So let's start right at the beginning. What exactly does the company do? HID does quite a lot in the area of what we call trusted identity solutions. Um, to name a few, we are very strong in the government ID space. So. Uh, corporate, uh, sorry, citizen to, to government applications, passports, inlays, passport electronics to be able to read out on digital passports. Yep. Um, and one of the other business units is uh, what we call physical access controls. So just going back to that um, passport issue, is that for many countries or one particular country? No, many countries. We hold a, uh, a, a very strong foothold. I'm not going to name the countries. Uh, probably wise. Probably wise, but. Uh, long story short, we are one of the major players in that environment. Globally. So, so therefore the governments must trust you with the data because one of the big recurring themes here has been about not only capturing data, keeping data secure. Yes, and, and that's a, it's a perfect segue, I think, what we display here at IFSEC. Um, IFSEC is much more on the corporate security and of course also government security, but you wouldn't see here a lot of passport related um, corporate, sorry, uh, citizen to government kind of applications. There are different shows for that. Um, but because of that, as you said, and it's a, I think it's a good point, we are a trusted vendor uh, and supplier in the area of secure identity solutions. In fact, what we show here as, uh, as part of our physical access control journey is what we call trusted identity platforms. Uh, and a brand name we utilize for that is called CIOS. Um, CIOS is a brand name from Asa Abloy. We are part of Asa Abloy as HED Global. Uh, and we provide that trusted identity platform um, since uh, the early parts of 2014. Uh, we made a, a good segue in, in that area, um, st strong applications, not only physical access control, but everything HED does uh, together with our subloy, could be a digital door lock, uh, could be a printer issuing a credential, is based on that secure identity ecosystem. Amazing. So what's the aim of the exhibition for you? Is it to find new customers or to re-engage with existing customers or both? Uh, I would say all of the above. Um, of course, every vendor wants to get leads from that, but I think it's a responsibility we have to a certain extent, not only to talk industry to industry, where we have a lot of solid partnerships, uh, but we talk to a number of stakeholders in this environment, potential customers of ours, end users as well, the channel, could be an integrator, could be an installer. Um, and what is focus area for HD2 is talk to what I call security consultants or specifiers. I think we should not underestimate the importance of that group and they see us also as a responsible company being able for them to be a trusted advisor to end users and government institutes too. So it's a lot about education and showing new products, new applications where HD comes to market with. And I suppose the changing political climate at the moment and the insecurity that we're seeing globally um, is, is in many ways a challenge, but an opportunity for you as well, I suppose. I think it's a challenge. Whether that is an opportunity, I think it's a bit of a, for me, it's a bit of taste. If, if there is more of stuff going on, if I may use that word, in the world, it's a negative. Um, but what it makes, um, I think, governments and corporates aware of is the awareness that something needs to be done to be able to provide a trusted and a secure environment. Yes, and and that's, an, that's a driver in itself for the industry, yes. yes. So therefore you can affect change. If you can make a difference and stop nasty things happening, that means you're in a great place. I think we have a role to play there as, as a vendor in, in this market, absolutely, yes. So, and just looking around, what sort of things are you showing people here? We show um, new products, of course, yeah. uh, but I think what is most exciting, what I think most exciting is, um, this market is evolving from a what I call a traditional hardware uh, industry to something which is more getting a service business. Um, if you have spoken to other companies, for sure everybody has spoken about IoT, about cloud applications. Um, but also HED has started that cloud uh, um, journey for ourselves with mobile access, where traditionally a physical identity for physical access control is not residing on a piece of plastic, a card, but on a mobile phone, on an iWatch or a wearable. Um, and that is a a journey we started about three years ago uh, as one of the leading companies in this industry and most exciting for us is if you have that device a couple of companies and uh, large end users have asked us if you know that already can we utilize that identity for other purposes and access control too so what we introduced here in Europe this week is what we call location services from HED it's an additional step into cloud services but companies can utilize that for emergency we know exactly who is where which uh, emergency area but most importantly for large end users who have tons of buildings and spaces, they don't know where people are and how much space they really need. So by 
offering this data analytics in the cloud, companies can also reduce on cost and be more envir environmental friendly. So a lot of adjacent applications related to that. Gosh, so that's quite a plethora of things you're doing. You're keeping people safe, you're maintaining security of the building, but you're also utilizing the building and cutting carbon footprint. So we, we, I believe we are a very environmental friendly company, which started about in 2012 um, within HED where we defined, okay, what is it what we need to do as a, responsi a responsible company? And it started off with environmental uh, friendly products with what kind of material are you using? But if you can see with CO2 submi uh, submissions, etc., there's a lot of dynamics going on coming from the government space um, where companies have to drive their carbon footprint down. And HED is helping that in the materials being used but issuing also and releasing products which are less energy absorbing, uh, which helps also that, uh, that goal being set. So how long will it be until we've got uh, mobile access like this for all businesses and even all, all homes, do you think? Not long. Uh, if you ask me, yeah. let's start yesterday. Yeah. Um, <laughs> seriously, uh, we started off in 2014, as I said, as one of the leading companies in this area. Uh, and we have thousands of end users already using mobile access and replacing their traditional access control card with something which is residing of everybody on everybody's phone and everybody has everybody most people have a smartphone today so that is already happening in in many many areas globally so what else is exciting for you what's the next 12 months bring for you um, good growth I hope to start off with because I have a responsibility internally too um, but most likely we'll get a lot of attention and we saw that already um, this week um, and we did have a pre-show event with end users and consultants yesterday where we launched location services a lot of positive attention and drive around what HED has new to offer. So if you ask me the next 12 months, continue our part of cloud services and mobile access, but most likely also get uh, a lot of success with location services for HED and for end users. Okay, well I'm going to come and find you in 12 months time and we can see how well you've done. That's the deal. <laughs> it is indeed. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you too. Thank you.